if you're asked to graph the inverse of this blue function that's, that's already been graphed for us here, uh, you need to remember that the inverse is always symmetrical about the y equals x. So it helps to draw that line of y equals x. So there it is drawn for us. So if it's going to be if it's going to be its inverse, uh, it needs to be doing the exact opposite on each side of that line so we see the, the mirror image happening. So there, you can see I've done a mirror image because this is the same size as this piece roughly, and then it flip-flops and these two pieces are doing the exact, exact opposite things. So same thing down here, it dips and then oh, it needs to cross over there. So it needed two equal chunks, so it probably should have been a little bit wider. So you have to use your imagination a bit, but you can see that those are mirror images. They're doing opposite things. So the green would be the graph of the inverse.